Glory of Yahweh, and when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. Okay, so this is what he saw uh, in, in his vision. Mm -hmm. See, and, and then it goes on to say, The appearance of a man on his throne in Ezekiel's vision cannot be fully understood or appreciated unless one has the knowledge of Moses' vision and Elohim's theophany to him, along with the book of Revelation. Now Moses describes the form of Elohim atop Mount Sinai as follows. And they saw the Elohim of Israel. And there was under his feet as a word paper for sapphire stone. And as it were the body of heaven, this appearance. Okay, so you see then that, 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 that the sapphire stone here was the permanent. Would you like to represent that second veil? Right. You had that, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, the permanent. Then you had that uh, sapphire stone for the throne. Says so that's like that to uh, Elohim uh, in the most holy place here by, by the pattern. Now, now it goes on to say, now Moses just gave just, just, just a, 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 a sketchy description on this whole process. <laughs> and then we go on to jump down and see John. What, what, what John, we already read Daniel, what um, John uh, wrote in Revelation 4 and 4. Right. And he that set was to look upon him like a jasper and a sardius stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne and a sight like unto an emerald. Okay, so you saw, he's talking about the radiancy uh, 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 that took place uh, in this realm. And he uh, confirms Ezekiel talking about that bow around the throne. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The, the, the bow is from the throne. Okay, read. Okay. Um, using the tabernacle pattern, Elohim above the four living creatures' heads and four wheels represent him being the most holy place, and the four living creatures below him would represent the holy place of the tabernacle pattern. In plain, simple language, Ezekiel was seeing in a vision Elohim on his throne, and the heavenly host of angels with him. His mission was to punish those in Jerusalem for their abomination, <coughs> to restore those out of captivity and reveal the temple and give their inheritance um, again. Now this ends the description of Ezekiel's vision of theophany. Okay, so we went through and described what he just writes down. He is describing uh, what will take place when the Gentiles, their destruction, and see Revelation is talking about the destruction of what? Of uh, the of Babylon. Mm -hmm. You got Moses talking about the destruction of, 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 of Egypt here. So all of these things are tied in, mm -hmm. being orchestrated uh, according to the uh, uh, purpose of, of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So we say in conclusion, read. In conclusion, the short, um, the book of Ezekiel is nothing more than a repeat of those principles and experiences that Moses and Israel went through in their journey <coughs> from Egypt to the Promised Land. The theophany shows that events are predetermined and randomness is a false doctrine. Mm -hmm. In the final chapter of the Bible, Elohim states the purpose of mystery Babylon the Great, as the Apostle Paul said, Babylon has fallen. It is in the process of collapsing financially and economically, creating havoc and chaos. People fear something is about to happen or transpire, not knowing what or how to prepare, as the ominous signs continue to occur. They don't understand because they lack of what, understanding of what. The presumer, it said, the little children said, they heard the voice. Mm -hmm. They heard the voice. Mm -hmm. You see, many people have not heard the voice that Babylon is collapsing. Mm -hmm. It's already been prophesied, and there's nothing that they can do to alter or change uh, that event from, from transpiring because it's a false system of wealth. It never, it never did engender power. It was there to steal, kill, mm -hmm. and rob people of their wealth. Uh, 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 and, and, and to impoverish them spiritually as well as what? Mm -hmm. Psychologically. So that's the system that Babylon had. Now since you have that system like that, that would be like the children of Israel down in Egypt uh, 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 making, you know, making the bricks strong. Yeah. See the same <coughs> principles repeated. So then it necessitates uh, 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 a final theology of vision mm -hmm. to actually tear down this whole system here and institute those seven what? Plays. Plays. Mm -hmm. That would destroy uh, Mystery uh, Babylon. And I said this read on. Okay. Now, Mr. Babylon holds many of the true sons and daughters captives, as occurred with Israel and Egypt with Pharaoh. Okay, just as, and I want you to stop there and give me the eighth, uh, ninth chapter of, uh, of Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 8 and 1. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders. In the sixth day, and the uh, they're going to five again. Mm -hmm. Okay, read. I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, and the hand of Yahweh Elohim fell upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, <coughs> in likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of the loins even downward, fire, and from his loins even upward. 
and the appearance of the brightness as of the color of amber. And he put forth the form of an hand and look, me. Go ahead. Took me. Go ahead, it's my eyes. And it took the form of a hand and took me by a lock of my head. And the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven. Listen, what up? His soul. His, spirit. his spirit or his soul would lift up. So now he's had an out of body experience now. He's going to say, okay, read. And brought me in the vision of Elohim to Jerusalem. To okay, so he taken him to Jerusalem. Just like the devil had taken uh, uh, Yash the Messiah out of the world. He took him right. to, the, to the pinnacle of the, of the what? Mm -hmm. you know, the temple. Of the temple. So you got people who said, you know, people talk today about abduction. You know, we get a lot of lectures on that. I said, yeah, abduction is real. Both positive and what? Amen. Amen. And, and, and either one of them, if you ain't got the right understanding, it'll drive you crazy. Because <laughs> when it was Harvard professor, <laughs> he began to investigate these so called abductions. Mm -hmm. He investigated thousands of them. And he said that they are real, and they are more prevalent than we think, but people don't want to talk about it. And, and, and the Harvard faculty called him in on a carpet, <laughs> telling him what he messing with this hoodoo stuff for. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And what they said was, they scientific mind, who care what? Can't comprehend. Can't comprehend. And, that, and that's hoodoo, so you leave it alone. They were talking about stripping him of his academic credentials. Mm -hmm. that. His name was Max something, Benny. I know. Anyway, this Harvard professor, so they, went, they, they wanted to understand, they thought this stuff was just uh, 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 psychologically. Mm -hmm. But we see that according to the scriptures that it is real. Because mm -hmm. here we have Ezekiel being taken out of his body and taken to Jerusalem. Uh, and his soul. And, 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 and go ahead and see what he described there. Okay. No. <coughs> go ahead and finish it. I, I mean, <coughs> It brought me in the visions of Elohim to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north. That's the temple there. Right. Now, but remember, his body is still where? That house. Mm -hmm. Back there at, um, in, in Babylon. Mm -hmm. Okay, read. Where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy? And behold, the glory of Elohim of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted mine eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. And he said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do? Even the great abominations of the house of Israel committed, committed here that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. Mm -hmm. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall, and when I digged in the wall, um, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. Okay, so they were the temple, they had these idols, just like they worship idols down where? Yeah. In Egypt. In Egypt. So now Egypt now is Israel. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ezekiel is being sent to them mm -hmm. to, to admonish them. Of the things that are going to show that what? Pass if they don't repent. So you the same thing occurring as you have, just the tables are turned uh, uh, and the, the principles are being uh, uh, repeated. So, so then you get the same thing down here with Mystery Babylon, with people being into uh, being into being enslaved into a system yeah. that, that that is what? That that is full of abomination. Right. And one of the things that is of abomination is randomism. Mm -hmm. yeah. Randomism is to be an abomination. Because right. then you're totally doing what? You're totally rejecting what? Right. You're great. That's an abomination of the hill. It's like materialism. Yeah. Like materialism. So you see the same abomination, even though you don't have physical yeah. items yeah. and creeping things, you do have a mindset of an ideology mm -hmm. that has imprisoned people to, 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 to get them to deny the existence of their what? Yeah. Yeah. Creator. See, that's what you have. So that's when you line the things up, you begin to see. 
the, the nothing has changed. Mm -hmm. Things have just been further dressed up and scientifically and academically trained, as Dr. Kennedy said, mm -hmm. that you come all the way down. So the thought of the day, people say, well then, what about Roman Catholics? Well, the thought, thought, that's not the, that's not the prevailing thought. The prevailing mm -hmm. thought 